Atoms in a hot, dense state that nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started. Wait, the Earth began to cool, the Autotrophs began to drool, Neanderthals developed tools, we built a wall. We built the pyramids, math, science, history, unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Big Bang Theory Enthusiast YouTube channel. As always, I'm the Big Bang Theory Enthusiast and today we're going to go be talking about a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for quite a while. Now I was going through some of my videos the other day and I noticed something. I keep on pinpointing that I'm going to talk exactly talk about exactly what the Big Bang Theory is about um, and I've done videos and videos and videos of just me rambling on about things that sometimes don't even make sense. But um, today's video is going to be a little bit set apart from those. This is going to be a little series we're going to be doing where every week, um, well, at least I'm going to try and make it a series. I have said that quite a long, but <coughs> quite a lot. Um, but we're going to try as hard as we can to try and make a series where we talk about the Big Bang Theory in full detail. I mean, we're going to go into looking at things that you probably didn't even notice were in the show. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so what I mean by pinpoint is I mean we're going to go into certain scenes in certain seasons and certain episodes and certain, um, yeah, that's it. that's as far as I can go with that. Um, and we're going to be breaking them down and we're going to kind of be, we're going to sort of um, just go wild with it. <laughs> um, and yeah, so my hair looks pretty bad today. But, you know, that's uh, you guys, so, okay, whatever. Um, so, we're going to be doing a few things before we pinpoint what we're going to be pinpointing. Pinpoint thing number one is that every season and every episode has Easter eggs in them. And I know that a lot of people are like, we've never seen Howard's mum, but hang on a second, there is a few, seas ep a few episodes in the later seasons that we actually do get to see her. Uh, but you don't notice it because you are too busy concentrating on what's happening, on, on other things, but you do see her in the backgrounds of things, things like that. So we're going to be going, I'm going to be pinpointing those things for you guys so you guys can get a general understanding of what I'm trying to explain to you guys. So without further ado, let's get this on. This one's a pretty obvious one, and if you didn't notice it, you must have been in really deep concentration or just weren't looking at the screen. But in episode season 6, episode 15, we actually get to see Howard's mother walk past the doorway when Raj went to go look after her because Howard and Bernadette were a little bit busy and Mrs. Wallowitz was a little bit lonely, so Howard sent Raj over there to, take, to look after her. And we actually get to see her walk past the hallway, um, or the doorway in, in the kitchen from where Raj was sitting. Um, I'll link a video right now. Alright, so you can see right here, Mrs. Wallowitz walks right past the door. Didn't notice that, and I just helped you pinpoint that. That's pretty cool to think about. Um, and I think another reason why we don't see these certain things is because Chuck Lorre wants us to use our imagination is to think what would Howard's mum look like. Or, there's certain scenes like... Um, there's certain scenes like the scene when the guys were going to Comic-Con just as Star Trek characters and they got their car stolen and they came back and the girls were reading comic books and they entered the room but you didn't see anything. I think I know why Chuck Lorre did that and we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay, now there's something that, uh, that parents tell their kids and it's that fictional characters aren't real. But what if I could tell you that they are? What if I could tell you that your childhood hero can be, could be real and is real, but you're going to need to do some science to get that equation. All right, and here's how. Okay, so we have world one, which let's call world one our world, and we have world two, which is the fictional world. What if I told you there was a wormhole connecting the two worlds in our mind? Pretty cool to think about. So when your parents tell you fictional characters aren't real, well, they're lying to you. Because fictional characters can be real if you want them to be. Characters of TV shows, movies, video games, manga, superheroes, and cartoons are all made for reasons. A lot of people think that shows are just for entertainment, but really, the Big Bang Theory has showed me a lot of things in life that not even I myself thought were, were, were even a thing. You know, um, 
You know, I didn't know that science could be so fun. I didn't know studying could be so fun. I didn't know anything could be so fun. So eventually, over time, things have changed. Things have evolved. So has, has, so has cinema. Cinema went to being black and white with no talking to the Big Bang Theory. Part of pop culture. Which I forgot to add this in my video where I talk about why you should watch the Big Bang Theory. It's also a... The Big Bang Theory plays a big part on pop culture. The Big Bang Theory is one of the biggest pop culture references and one of the biggest pop culture shows on planet Earth. I'm not even kidding you. If you think things like The Office and Seinfeld and Full House were a big, big part of pop culture, think again, pop culture fans. The Big Bang Theory ranks above any, anything above pop culture. It's The Big Bang Theory. Now, I could sit here all day boring you with my blab, but I, am tr I assure you that I'm trying my hardest to make sure that this video is not a waste of time. So stick around to learn a little bit more about this wormhole fictional world that Chuck Lorre created that we didn't notice in The Big Bang Theory. Think of it this way. If Chuck Lorre gave you all the conclusions to every single episode, how much more boring would it be than you having to think... Oh, I know what might have happened when they walked in the room, or oh, I can't imagine what their face would have been like, so on and so on. Chuck Lorre wants you to use your imagination so that you, yourself, can also be engaged in such a show. I have never seen this or ever pinpointed this in any other cartoon uh, show movie that I've ever watched. They always make sure that they cover everything, and if they don't, they make a whole new movie just about that one thing that they missed in the other movie, which is why there's a part one, two, three, and four no need. That's what I like about movies and sitcoms. Movies, if they miss one thing, like what happened when he entered the room. Alright guys, and that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.